All right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of this belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Butcher. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. I love that one. I love when a guy throws a kick with that much power. Didn't see that one coming. He gets tagged with a nice combination to the head. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going up. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Lock him, suck him out of the suit here. Oh, my goodness. Process. These boys just went and started fighting. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. When his opponent has done that too, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Unable to connect there. Sides with conviction. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Back to the well with the uppercut. Now it's true. He's back in the clinch. 
Establishing the jab. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight this fight. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. There's nothing to worry about too much now, but he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. He's back in the clinch. Watch the knees to start to come now. Good knees. Looks like he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. Big right hook coming and flops. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. with a right hand counter. All right, well that blow is fostering from that cut with each strike landed and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You gotta get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up. And being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Under a minute now to go in round one. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when... Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. Bad. He's hurt bad. Oh. Big, big strikes continue to land. Big knee to the body. Seconds left. 15 seconds to go. Strike lands clean. Great block there. Oh, next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Second round underway. Clean punch. Just out of range with that strike. Nice. Well, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Yes. That's what I'm about. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Checks that leg kick. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. 
but these guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh, good block there. Now lands a solid punch there. Oh. He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just touching him with the jab. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Debilitating leg kicks tonight in that left thigh now starting to show signs of bruising. Right hook to the head blocked. It's under three minutes now to go on the round. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing landed with so much force. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Beautiful body kick. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Beautifully placed shot to the leg. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this striker for... Yeah, this is a little wobbly on his feet. Strong outside leg kick. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Left eye starting to swell significantly now. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Jab is on point right now. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Another one! Able to get back to his feet, yet again. Oh! oh another knockdown! down! And that will do it! Wow! Wow! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight 
is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach, team, family on the big result here tonight.